Right guys, uh, just thought I'd uh, share this with you. Uh, I was looking on the internet last night at different deals um, and saw that PXG have, have another price drop. So I believe it's part of their Valentine's Day deals. If you go down, the new prototype drivers, 415, but the O211 drivers, 275, so I think they were 325 um, in January, so even lower than they were before, which I think is an absolutely ridiculous value. So they're obviously trying to get through to the mass market with this. Um, they believe that they're good for the majority of golfers, so they're looking for more market share, I believe. Um, still got adjust adjustable hosel, uh, weight back design, and I'm trying. It's a less adjustable product than the uh, prototype driver that they have. But I think in terms of other uh, clubs on the market, I think they're priced really competitively. Um, and I, I'm struggling to see where some of the drivers say, if you look at online golf, I don't think they're going to be able to compete um, with that kind of pricing from um, PXG. I mean, Ben Ross, 228. Um, even Tor Edge 328, even more money than uh, what PXG are charging. Wilson, fractionally more expensive. TSI, almost double the price um, alongside Sim. I can't quite see how uh, Tightlist um, and Callaway are going to get on this year. I'm not the biggest fan of the Callaway driver. Um, I think they could have done a little bit better on the aesthetics, although quite a lot of YouTubers have praised the looks of them in real life, so maybe they look a little bit better than they do over the photos. Um, a lot of the looks of the Cobra and the um, Sim, I think for £400 um, they'll, they'll have a good year and they'll be competitive. Um, quite interested with the Tor Edge as well, I mean around £300 isn't bad. Um, so yes, that's what you can kind of get on online golf. And if you get to Scottsdale Golf, they tend to have different drivers. And if you've not gone to Scottsdale Golf before, I definitely recommend it. Because not only can you you tend to have more options than you do online golf, you can actually go custom as well. So you can say you're right-handed, you've got the option of the 8-degree head, which you don't tend to have uh, with online golf and American golf. You've got the vast... A variety of shafts that are standard so no upcharge and then you do have the option of having your upcharge shafts which I think for £150 for a graphite tour AD DI6 and 7 is really really good value again you know these are £300-£400 shafts and um, if you buy them on their own or if you, even if you buy them on eBay they're £200 on their own as you can see there's even more stock shafts that you can buy so again, I think if you're not going to Scottsdale Golf and having a little look for an order, um, you're missing out. If I was to have one of these, um, I would probably go for Hazardous RDX Blue. Extra stiff. I'd have it a little bit over length, so 46. I'll just have to double check what the standard is for a uh, tailor-made sim. So I like to play it 46 inches, so um, it might be that I don't need to put plus one on there. Um, you can have a tall velvet, you can see if it's mid-size, you can do your grip size, do your orientation, logo up and logo down, head cover and drench, all for the same price of a standard £400 driver from online golf. So I think that anybody that's not going through that process say on Scottsdale Golf and you're just buying completely off the rack. Um, I think at least with PXG and Scottsdale Golf um, going through the custom side you can actually still get a driver that's um, suitable for you and if you get an adjustable driver um, maybe not so much the sim but if you get one with a movable weight track as well and the neck then you're going to be quids in. So that's all for today just sort of share those uh, ideas with you and um, Switch you soon. See ya. Goodbye.